lovely way to start the week. Barney is outside, although he was whimpering a little bit during that yoga session, weren't you? Yes, you were. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. The sun is shining today. I thought I would pick up the camera this morning. It's Monday morning. We start our Mondays with a bit of yoga, which was lovely this morning. I'm wearing my Halara set. I actually have some new bits from them, which I'm gonna go upstairs and show you. But this is, uh, I just always do yoga in this sort of outfit. So I really like these ones, especially for yoga, because they're like a flared legging, flared bottom. So um, yeah, these are just in plain black. They do them in loads of different colors though. Little crossover uh, waistband and then just a plain white um, kind of like tank tee. But yeah, I've got loads of new bits that have arrived they arrived two days ago but i haven't opened them yet so i will head upstairs and open them with you guys but otherwise hope you guys enjoy spending the rest of the day with me i'm not sure if i'm going to vlog today and tomorrow just today we'll see we'll see where the video takes us but i hope you're all doing well I'm trying to think what else i'm going to be getting up to today i might pop to do a bit of a food shop. I think I'm gonna to go to Asda because they've got some new homeware bits in, which I want to have a quick look at. Tom's done this thing on, this is AI. Is it AI? Yeah. Technology <laughs> at its finest. Listen to this question that we asked this chat AI. Can you work out for me how many men in the UK have all of these traits? Works in finance, has a trust fund, has blue eyes, it's over six foot four, six foot five. Yeah. And then we did one without the trust fund, i.e. you, six foot five, blue eyes. And what, how many of there are, look at this. UK population, 67 million, roughly 49% being male. That's 32.8 million. Works in finance, 49% of these, so 490,000. Has a trust fund around 1%, so that's 328,000. Has blue eyes, about 48%, which means 15.7 million is over six foot five that's the small one look 0.1 percent thirty two thousand eight hundred i suppose you're six foot five so you're not over are you so then we even asked it that we said okay so a fraction of men working in finance fraction of men working in trust funds fraction of men with blue eyes fraction of men over six foot five in store combining all of these fractions two to three men in the Have uk all these traits but then we said without trust fund i.e you and you are one of how many people 234 you are the TikTok. Without a trust fund. No trust fund. No trust fund that I'm aware of anyway. No, there's definitely no trust fund. <laughs> right, I'm going to head upstairs and... Oh, my knee. Oh, are you a little bit naughty crying during our yoga session this morning? I think you were, weren't you? You just wanted to get involved. Oh, nice chin scratch. Kisses. Thank you. Okay, we are back upstairs. I've just freshened up a little bit and popped on some makeup for the day. A few of you have asked for a more up-to-date kind of makeup routine as well. So I'm thinking about maybe filming that for um, TikTok or Instagram. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But anyway, I have come upstairs to share with you the bits that I've got from Halara and they are so kindly working with me again on today's video. I know I've worked with them a few times in the past, but I have also been buying like a paying customer of theirs as well. It was also a recommendation from my yoga instructor who comes to our house um, and does one-to-one -one yoga, or two-to-one, because Tom gets involved as well. And she, yeah, she really likes Halara as well and always recommends it. So for yoga gear especially, it is an absolute trusty fave of mine. But I have picked up a few new bits to add to my collection. They do do other things as well, skirts, dresses, all sorts. So be sure to check them out. I will leave the links to everything that I show within this video down in the description box below for you to shop through and along with a discount code freya 20 will get you 20% off site-wide full priced items. And let's jump into sharing with you some of the bits that I picked up. So first things first, 
Most things in, from Halara I get in a medium, just for size reference. I am, I would say, typically UK size 10. Um, so this kind of like sports bra top I got in this gorgeous, like navy, it's like a really rich navy blue color. Um, I'm incorporating a bit more navy into my wardrobe. And um, yeah, I really like this. I already own this in black, I think. Black or black and white. I might have a white one as well. I think it's just black though with this particular style. It's got the crossover back. It's got the hidden band as well under the bust. So yeah, nice and supportive. It does also have removable cups. One that I would wear for yoga, but also for um, more intense training, like if I was to go for a run. Hold on, I feel like I need to just move you down a little bit. I always do this. I always end up stuck, sat up on my feet like that, and then I end up slowly but surely going down. I don't know why I like to sit on the floor in here, because I do have a chair, but I just, there's something about being grounded sitting on the floor that I enjoy. Anyway, uh, next up we've got a, a little basic sports tee, just um, kind of like cropped loose fit tee. Again, one that I would wear on a run. I went for a run yesterday and uh, it was warm enough to wear sort of like a top like this with some leggings but when it's a little bit cooler I just like to have my shoulders covered. Really nice fabric, super soft. This one is in a medium. This is something a little bit different for me just to try out and again show you the variety that Halara has to offer but this is actually a zip up kind of like hold on let me sit back a bit it is a jumpsuit plain simple black but it's that same kind of fabric that they do for like the leggings and things yeah something a bit different for me from halara so i will try it on obviously I'll show you the little cutaway clips let me know what you guys think i like the fact that it's a zip up the side it's got pockets nice thick supportive waistband i think this will go with the top that i got the navy top that i showed you at the start because i decided to pick up these flared leggings with a crossover waistband but in a uh like i said a, a navy color can you see yeah it's showing navy on camera sometimes with navies it picks up darker than what it actually is but this i would say a true navy this is in a medium this is a petite so it will probably be a little bit on the shorter side there's something about being in active wear even if it's comfy active wear like this that makes me feel like i can be more productive and get more stuff done okay and then a good classic pair of leggings i love their leggings they've actually got some new branding i've noticed on the back some of my other ones like these ones don't have any branding on it's nice and supportive with the pockets on the side so you can pop your phone in if you wanted to. This one is the 7 8 length which makes them slightly cropped. They're not as cropped as like the Capri style but they're just slightly shorter than a regular legging. They do all sorts of different kind of styles, designs, whether it's compression that you want and supports or whether it's comfort, if it's the pat it off material which is great for if you're a pet owner. It's the sort of fabric that easily allows you to literally pat off the, the fur. Quite often opt for that one with having a golden retriever. I've got this slinky kind of maxi dress. It's ribbed fabric. It looks very similar to some other more high-end brands, I'll say, that do these kind of maxi slip dresses. It does have adjustable straps, really soft, really, really soft. Feels quite weighty as well, this one, so really good quality. Feels really comfy, but looks really nice, even if you are just a case of like being at home. If you pop popping on a little slip dress like that, how nice does that look? And then again, you can dress it up, dress it down. That one was in a medium as well. Oh yes, I forgot I got this. This is like a wrap dress that you can wear, what I'm thinking of taking it on holiday with me and having it as a bit more of like a beach dress. This one again is in a medium, but I guess with this one, because of the wrap style, it doesn't, it's not like a, a big deal if you can't get your size. Look, it's just a basically a big piece of material with these two kind of sleeve, what looks to be handles but that you can wear sort of styled as a bit of a wrap cover for again for on holidays what i'm thinking with that one i think they do have swimwear as well actually classic again like these tops i wear all the time i decided to pick up a another one in a medium in white it's got the double strap the removable padding and then the back is just a simple twist 
um, back. So again, supportive enough to wear as a workout bra. We got another dress and this time, again from the same sort of fabric as the other pieces, but this dress I would say is more of like a daytime, summer, kind of pretty sort of tea dress kind of style milkmaid dress with that um, like bust detail at the top of the little sharing the little bow the cup details really really pretty structure that one but then it does kind of fan out into a, a kind of tennis dress tennis skirt so i guess you could work out in it then could be a good little holiday number that if you happen to come across a paddle court you're good to go and last but not least again another staple pair of leggings this time with the crossover band which is probably one of my favorite designs that they do when they do this crossover i just think it's really really flattering this one again it does have the um sort of like the pockets at the side on the legs very very similar to the other style of legging that i showed you only that it has that uh, crossover on the front as well but yeah so um, let me know of these items, which is your favourite. And if you have shot Talara before, let me know. If you haven't, if you want to check them out, again, don't forget to check out the links that I will leave in the description box along with a discount code for you guys. Happy shopping. And now I need to actually need to make the bed before we head over to Asda for a little bit of a food shop. And I'll show you some of the new in for the homeware, if they've got any. We'll soon discover together. I wanted to get out in the garden this afternoon and I might still do it but it's looking a little overcast. I think Tom wants to cut the lawn for the first time since having it had it laid I think it's at the right length you have to kind of like leave it a bit then top it and then um, kind of keep on top of it um, but slowly gradually reduce the yeah Where? yeah I'm making eggs you want, eh? um, yes I will have some poached eggs Anyway, so yeah, I think Tom is going to try and cut the lawn today and I thought uh, we could get out and hopefully try and plant the herbs that are kind of like all spread out. I at least want to position them where, where I want them, if it doesn't rain. But I am back now from Asda and I thought I'd show you the couple of bits that I did pick up whilst I was in store. Firstly, this is like very Soho Home dupe. I've got the crockery set from there which they do in like a few different colors three i think and i've got the green set it is a lighter green than this but very similar in that it's got that kind of like hammered finish the bobble edging and they've got loads of stuff in this range which is like built for outdoor use because it's just plastic I thought a salad bowl will be quite convenient for us to have or even like you know like if you're hosting quite a few people you ought to have it as a big pasta bowl server bowl was seven pounds and then i also got like a platter tray at six pound fifty but they've got little side plates large plates smaller bowls they've got all sorts and for the clothes section i only got one thing but i got this top i just thought it would look like a really good basic i love the kind of material of it so they had this in black as well it's just one shoulder um top with the shoulder being kind of like twisted but yeah if you can see it's like a toweling kind of material really like good sort of basic for summer so that was 
eight pounds from the kitchenware section this enamel roasting dish we've got a few enamel trays and i thought this would be a nice addition to the set i think this was 12 pounds from memory yeah 12 pounds and then we picked up a throw i got this throw from one of the stacy solomon range products um her range is like really big now the asda that i went to is at the traffic center if you were interested um she's got loads loads of stuff this throw it's two tones so you've got like a darker beige on one side lighter on the other and i quite like having plenty of throws for even for outdoor use lovely little throw that one nice and chunky and cozy and that one was 30 pounds all kind of steep kind of steep for asda um but anyway what else did i get i got oh i got some chocolates oh we've got a big delivery yes we needed this to come here so that we can start the paving tomorrow they're basically uh delivering a load of blocks for where the outdoor kitchen is going we essentially need to get we've got two sets of builders we've got the kind of garden landscapers and then the builders who kind of did the foundations and footings for the house they were the ones that are going to build the outdoor kitchen so we need them to lay the blocks at least to like a block height so that our gardener can come back and, and landscaper can come back to fit the paving to the block. So that's what we've been waiting on today. Um, and now that they're here, they'll crack on and hopefully get that finished today so that paving can begin tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, picked up some chocolates. I have, as you can tell, <laughs> dived straight in. It's a new flavor they've got. I really like the strawberries and cream one which is white chocolate. This raspberry one is milk chocolate. So it's just a nice um, bit of a difference if you're craving like the milk chocolate, but I'll just pop these in the bowl that we've got sat out in our living room. We always just have a bowl of chocolates. And then lastly from Asda, from their outdoor kind of garden range, and it's this little side table, but as you can tell, I can quite easily pick this up. So it's not too weighty. So although it looks like a stone, it's actually just stone effect. This wall, I thought, would look quite nicely in our garden. We're gonna go for very kind of Mediterranean style. The outdoor kitchen is gonna be all kind of white render to match with the other render that we've got on the back of the house. So initially we were like, do we go kind of dark black cladding brick, exposed brick render? For one, is cheaper anyway, because we can just, like I said, use the blocks rather than have to buy specific bricks and just render it it just will keep the space nice and bright and light and yeah so i'm super excited to get styling up the garden and hopefully if it's done within the next couple of weeks then we might forecast some sun because at the minute with it being quite overcast and miserable it's been perfect for the grass to help with that growing we've not even had to get the sprinkler out um and now i'm just going to be ready for some sun because if we get the garden done, I'm going to want the sun <laughs> so that I can actually enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in there. Tom's just shouting me through. I think he has just made us some eggs. What's Barney's polar bear doing out here? What is your polar bear doing here? Oh, have you given him something? He's licking them lips like you've given him some food. What's daddy giving you? Did you have some eggies? Did you have some eggs? You've got some eggs now as well. And some nice fresh sourdough from Gail's. Delish. Oh, I just like, I like to spread the butter rather than have lumps of it. Just whilst Tom's plating that up, I'll just quickly show you outside. It might be a bit uh, windy. The blocks have just arrived. Yeah. So as you can tell, those blocks that are just gonna get laid where the concrete foundations has been poured. So that's all set now, so that we can get a slight, like just a couple of levels of blocks so that, like I said, the gardener can then um, start laying the paving um, up to where the wall will be. And then otherwise, this is just how it's looking. So we've just got the herbs that need planting down at the other end. Like I said, that kind of gravel area, we could pop that little side table, the fire pit we can pop over there. Okay, we are just about to head to the garden center, but this is another thing that I've just had delivered that I forgot to show you guys. We haven't set it up yet, but I decided to get one of the Lumi pods, like an ice bath. These are just the recovery pods. So I think it's the cheapest and the smallest you can get, but once inflated, it's big enough to obviously just dunk yourself in. 
Oh, so yeah, we can have a little ice bath. I'm not sure where we're gonna put it. Might even wait until the garden's done before deciding where it's gonna go. Kind of stragglers over here that we need to move over but i think i've positioned them how i like them i quite like having a bit of height over this side then some smaller ones again tall we've also positioned them relative to which area gets the most sun but we definitely think we need to start planting it pretty soon because some of them are starting to and just the sun they need as well isn't it have you noticed this nettle poking through so we need to get some uh, gloves on and start weeding already as well. The uh, basil needs to go at that end as well. Okay. Well, yeah, we just need to fit in a few more because those ones are not staying there. And then we can get planting. But, yeah, in between the rain, we're probably going to have to do it another day. As predicted, the heavens have opened. I say the heavens have opened. It's not torrential by any means, but it has started raining. So I think we're going to leave... The garden for another day maybe tomorrow we'll see um we'll see what it's like tom's got cricket training this evening he said he was gonna maybe see if it's stopped by the time he gets back he might mow the lawn so fingers crossed because it'd be good to get that done but i did go home by a home sense from the garden center and i picked up these cute mugs i thought i would show you because how cute is that hello sunshine that to me is the epitome of a summer mug if you want a big one like whether it be like lemon tea in there or a peppermint tea a nice big coffee 5.99 for that ray done one uh, ray done one <laughs> am i broken <laughs> i just like malfunctioned there um yeah really like it and i did actually pick up a couple of pots large planters of which one would have fit in my car but the other one wouldn't so i would have had to pay for delivery for at least that one and they said it's the same price to get both delivered so i said okay both can be delivered that's coming in a couple of days and it's two huge um well one especially was quite big planters for the garden so that would be fun um to do that once that's arrived as well can you hear the banging we have the builders all systems go um we've got the ones out in the garden building the foundations or like the start of the wall the outdoor kitchen and the others in the garage so we're building like a storage space above the garage so yes there's lots of banging and knocks going on today but i have just had these delivered and i'm so excited to give these a try if you saw a vlog recently where i went and had current body facial we used their <laughs> radio frequency device which is good for anti-aging but i really wanted to try the led light therapy mask and they used it on us in the facial and i really enjoyed it so lots of people have said stick with it as well every single day at just like part of your routine keep it by the sofa so when you're watching trash tv when your love island's on at 9 p.m whack on the mask you can do like a 15 minute oh no 10 minutes 10 minutes a day um light therapy you can read your book you can go on your phone do whatever you want whilst it's on so incorporating it into my routine i think i'm gonna keep it up and i've got the um the thought of obviously my brother's wedding coming up and um a holiday so it'd be really nice to have my skin glowing for those things up and coming so i'm going to be strict with it up until then i think by that point it will be part of my habitual routine fingers crossed so yes so excited the fact that i mentioned it to them the girl said oh we'll send you on so thank you so much to the team at current body and then also we were talking about something that i didn't even realize they sold but they were telling me that they've got this 
laser hair removal device. So they're explaining the benefits of um, laser over IPL and all just what the difference is, which I did touch on in that vlog, so I won't go into details, but I am gonna give this a go, but I thought we could just quickly open it up at least and see what it looks like, because I have never seen this one. Let me show you the LED mask first. Tom is gonna get a real fright when he sees me with this on. So another thing that I didn't realize about this mask until I had that facial is the mask itself is silicone, so it's really flexible and really comfortable. You literally just, I mean, I've got makeup on, so I don't really want to be putting it on, but you wear it like this, plug it in. Well, you actually don't even need to plug it in as well. It's portable. You can just recharge it. So it essentially means that um, you charge up this little device, which I think she said lasts at least sort of like 20 times, I think. She said that I might be wrong on saying that, but either way, you just simply recharge this, and then when you're ready to use it, simply plug it in. So you can literally just throw that in your dressing gown pocket or just carry it around with you and just walk around and do whatever it is that you need to do whilst this is working on your face. They also sell these um, LED light therapies for your neck and chest area, which I think would be really good because I do get a few little wrinkles on the old neck area. And then let's open up the laser device. So I'm gonna give this a go on my, I think I'm gonna try my underarms first because I've always shaved there. So with laser devices, you have to shave. Whereas for my legs, I actually epilate my legs. So they last a lot longer in between sort of shaving. And also not only that, the ideal target skin for this is fair skin, dark hair. So the fair skin especially, you need to kind of like keep out of tanning, fake tan. So with summer approaching and going on holidays and stuff, what I might do is use this on my underarms, but then um, give it a good go with that, see how I get on. Do my legs more so in the winter. I'll probably pick this up again when I my fair skin is back out. It looks so cool, it looks like a Dyson hairdryer or something. How nice is that? So I will keep you guys posted on how I get on with this. Focus on this camera, it seems to be slow. Anyway, I am just editing this video actually and longer than I thought already. So I'm going to close it off today here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, just a friendly reminder to check out Halara and use my discount code for a 20. If you want 20% off, I will leave all the information along with the links to the items that I showed at the start of this video down in the description box below. Hope to see you again very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.